Where did the gang hold their meetings? In the Hyatt Hotel in Birmingham. What about the origin of the shipment that got the gang's downfall? Romania. These are just some of the details revealed in the discovery of the Kinahans cartel's secret smuggling route. Other details follow shortly. A few words for those who don't know so much about the Kinahan Organized Crime Group, or the Kinahan Cartel. They are an Irish major transnational organized crime syndicate and one of the largest criminal organizations in the whole world. Founded by Christy Kinahan in the 1990s in Dublin, the cartel has also established itself in the UK, Spain, and the United Arab Emirates. This was the period when Ireland's Celtic Tiger period of rapid economic growth was occurring. Like many other world criminal organizations, this one as well started with dealing drugs in the streets, but very soon grew on a global scale and became a multi-million dollar criminal network that is still existing. After establishing the cartel, Christy Kinahan passed on his leadership to his son Daniel, and how serious and deadly this organization is, says that the fact that on April 12, 2022, the U.S. State Department announced the offering of rewards of up to $5 million for information that will lead to the arrest of each leading member of the Kinahan cartel. Except with drug trafficking, the organization's activities also include smashing that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell. But no, in all seriousness, they include money laundering, murders, arms trafficking, extortion, blackmailing. The group's seven key members are Christopher Kinahan and his sons, Daniel and Christopher Jr., Bernard Clancy, Daniel's advisor and closest affiliate, Sean McGovern, Johnny Cash Morrissey, and Ian Dixon. The group has many associates and many allies in the criminal world. They have connections with Lions Crime Family, Moroccan Mafia, Sinaloa Cartel, and Indrangheta, and their biggest rivals are the Hutch Gang. For almost 30 years, the Kinahan cartel was rising, and its activities and operations were going by the plan. But things changed for the Irish criminal syndicate recently. Their main European stronghold fell after the arrest of Thomas Cavanaugh, aka The Bomber, who was the main man who ran Kinahan cocaine and cannabis smuggling operations in the UK. For years, Cavanaugh was running the operations from his bulletproof Midland home near Tamworth, and he was untouchable in his job. But finally, the 54-year-old crime mind and two of his associates were arrested after UK authorities intercepted a shipment at Dover in 2017. Being under pressure from rival criminal groups in Ireland and also from the Criminal Assets Bureau, which sent him a tax bill on the proceeds of crime for over €125,000, Cavanaugh moved to England to head up the Kinahan Gang's operation. He represented himself as an elite car dealer, and for years, he kept a low profile in the UK. The other two guys arrested with him were Gary Vickery, 39, and Daniel Caney, 43, both living in Salahul. Kevin Null's operations was a criminal masterpiece. As I said, he was a real mastermind. Together with the two Dublin-born brothers-in-law, they were renting offices and warehouses in Wednesbury and Wolverhampton using names of false companies and then making contracts with legitimate logistics and transport companies that were transporting their cash and drugs without knowing that they were involved in a criminal operation. NCA's investigation of the Irish network started in early 2016, but the police had to work until January 2017 to link many seized drugs and weapons from the Midlands-based companies. The police found that the group led by Kavanaugh was delivering two-a-month shipments, and from October 2016 to 2017, the gang made over 36 million euros. The gang was meeting in luxury hotels, for example, the Hyatt Hotel in Birmingham. The gang was very precocious, and they were using code words on encrypted BlackBerry and Aquarius phone devices. They were communicating by text and email, and during the investigation, the police intercepted a lot of coded conversations between these three. All of them had nicknames. Kavanaugh was called the Gaffer, Plasma, or New too. Vickery was called Jelly, and Canning was named Smiley. Police found that paper was used for cash, phones was a reference for cocaine, and jackets was used as a word for packages of cannabis. There were some other interesting words in these conversations, such as hot for Spain, flat for the Netherlands, and sister for one of the machinery concealments. But how did these three fall? What was the key operation that led to their arrest? 
The gang used tarmac remover machines to hide the drugs in specially made compartments inside these industrial machines. They were using these three tarmac removers, and each of them had a tracker device attached inside so they would know all the time where to find the package if it was lost or stolen. They bought these devices from a Polish guy, who, by the intercepted conversations, is known as Z. The police still don't know his whereabouts. The seizure that began the downfall of Kinahan's gang in the UK took place on October 2, 2017, when a Polish driver was stopped at the eastern docks in the port of Dover. He told the customs that he is transporting tarmac remover machines, which he took up in Germany. But the authorities found that the shipment is from Romania. They then decided to dismantle the machines. And bang, they found 200 packages of cannabis in their first machine, and 200 more in the second one. There were also 15 kilo blocks of cocaine and a tracking device. All in all, the shipment is estimated at 2.6 million euros. After this seizure, the NCA officers headed to two industrial units linked to the gang, one in Wolverhampton and the other one in Winsbury. At the Winsbury address, the officers found a part of an industrial transformer that still had some traces of cocaine inside. They also found a black Haldale with a handgun and ammunition and more tracking devices like the one found in Dover. The next destination for officers was Vickery's rented property in Bounder Lane in Solihull, where they found 25 kilogram drums of powdered boric acid used in the cocaine making process. But that wasn't all. There was a lot of cash in Gary's mansion, exactly 200,000 euros and 43,000 pounds. Officers made a raid also in Canning's home in Dickens Heath, where they found small amounts of cash and phones with encrypted communications. Last but not least, the NCA officers headed to Kavanaugh's Staffordshire property in January of 2019 where they found weapons and around 35,000 pounds in various denominations, including euros and Emirati dirhams. Vickery and Cannon were immediately arrested in October of 2017, while Kavanaugh was captured at the Birmingham airport as he returned to the UK on January 12, 2019. All three admitted to drug trafficking and money laundry, and Caney also admitted to possessing weapons and ammunition. After the trial was finished in March last year, Kavanaugh, who, by the way, is a father of six, blew a kiss to his family from the dock before he was taken to serve a 21-year jail sentence. His gang members, Vickery and Cannon, got 19.5 years and 20 respectively. However, the judge said that they can serve the sentence under license, which means that they could be released after serving half of the sentence. This means that Kavanaugh won't leave the jail until he turns 65. On the other hand, the NCA still insist that the imprisonment of these three guys doesn't end the further investigations of their inquiries into the Kinahan cartel operations in the UK. The agency also froze Kinahan's valuables such as watches, bikes, jewelry, and his luxury home. The falling of Kinahan's UK stronghold is no doubt a big success for law enforcement, but this is just a start that should lead to the main targets of the Irish Mighty Criminal Organization. The success of the action is also due to the fact that the NCA managed to convince other agencies in other countries that the targets of Operation Garda should be their targets as well. And while Kavanaugh and his mates are behind bars, the head chief of the Irish cartel, Daniel Kinahan, is currently smashing the subscribe button and ringing that notification bell. I mean, Daniel Kinahan is currently living in Dubai. He remains a top target of the overall Garda operation, and the goal remains to get the authorities in the country to deal with him. And that's all for now. Hopefully the next video will be about capturing the main beast from one of the biggest crime organizations that exist nowadays. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.